Hi guys, this is Otto from Tom.com and today I'll show you how to adjust the end limits on a pre-programmed RS100 motor. This will also work on RS100 motors that you program yourself and where the end limits need adjusting. The procedure is specific to the RS100 so it does not work for other I.O. nor for other RTS motors. And with that intro done, let's get to it. So you have the RS100 built into the roller shutter behind me and it's working on channel 1. As you can see it's selected now. It's on channel 1 and it's responding. Now if you yourself have other roller shutters that are also paired with your remote or a specific channel, then you have to unplug them and make sure they can't respond. Otherwise you'll end up with a lot more work and shutters that no longer stop in the right position. Now let's take the first step and move the roller shutter to the center position. And do that by pressing the up button. And then when it's roughly in the middle, I press the my to stop it. And now what I'm going to do is to press the up and down button at the same time until I get a jog, uh, an up and down movement from the motor. As you can see, that might take a little time. That's it. And now I'm going to move it to the lowest position. And as you can see, I now need to press and hold the down button to make it move. Otherwise it will stop. And that's a good sign because it means we're in programming mode. If I keep holding it, then I can release it. And I'm going to stop it roughly here. You can still adjust it by pressing up and down. As you can see, it will make very small movements. Now, when I'm sure it's in the right position, what I'm going to do is confirm that by pressing and holding the My button. And then I get a jog from the motor. Again, we go to the upper position by pressing the Up button and holding that. As you can see, you can then release it. And then when it's in the right position, and I'll stop it early here, I'm going to stop it. Again, I can still adjust. As you can see, it makes really fine adjustments on the RS100. When it's in the right position, I'll press the My button again. And then I'll get two jogs, because this is the second position I'm programming. And that's it. That's the procedure complete. So now what I can do is check this, whether it, it worked as we intended. So I'm going to press down. And as you can see now, I can release the button. And it will continue rolling. Slow down towards the end. As you can see here. And it will stop in the right position. To just make sure everything's fine, I'm going to check the upper limit as well. Again, just press once, release the button. And then when we get to the end point, it will slow down and stop at the position that we pre-programmed. So that's it. Um, now, if you have any questions about this procedure, if it doesn't work like you wanted to, then let us know. The email address is info at tron.com. For now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.